Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to pick up the topic of pouring mediums again. And if you're not familiar with why we use pouring mediums or the options there are, please go to the basic playlist and have a look for that information. In general, the most common are flow troll, then people use glue. I advise Bookbinder's glue because it's archival. It's called PVIC. And then there are the shelf ready-made uh, pouring mediums like from Liquitex. That's also where the name originally came from. But what most people don't do or don't know is that there is also another option that is relatively inexpensive and um, offers itself almost for making paint more liquid and that is acrylic binder. Um, what is acrylic binder? It's actually paint without color. So normally you make paint by adding pigments. So if you would do that with these little pigments and this, you would have acrylic paint. I like this one because it's very liquid. So this is my lazy go-to pouring medium. Uh, normally I make my own. Uh, I have a video about that if you want to look at it. But if I'm lazy, I'm just going to use this because there's no risk. It's made for making paint. Yeah, you have this also in thicker then you need to add a little bit more water. And I can tell you the smell is not super cool. So I want to show you that it also works with that and how it's going to look like because it's really another uh, inexpensive, safe pouring medium. So these paints are all made uh, and thinned down with acrylic binder and a tiny bit of water, of course. I made them already some days ago and used them, so the silicone in there is rather steered under, so we're probably not gonna get super big cells. But I'm gonna make a simple flip cup, I think, and then you can see res the result. Okay, so as always I put the little push pins under it that it's lifted from the table enough. I find that very practical instead of cups under it. I sprayed a tiny bit of water on it. Um, yeah, not even worth mentioning it. And I think I'm gonna try to pour it. I'm not very talented in just pouring it, but uh, let's try.
let it run over the sides because that's really pretty normally. You need to have enough paint that you don't have to stretch it too much because then it's all going to break down. This is already, you can see now I have to really wait for it to run down that corner. And even help it a bit. So here I have all the sides. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna pick gonna pick up a palette knife that I can now just take a bit of the paint that ran down carefully and put it on here with the pattern it has Ooh. and the paint will now pull the other paint down so of course I need to torch it because of the air bubble And what you can also see, and what you want to probably know, does acrylic binder work with the paint, with the silicone, to make cells? I probably, you can probably even see it through the camera. Yes, it does. It's really cool. Very nice. There is a tiny bit of iridescent white in there. And that's spread around in the complete painting, so there is a shimmer of metallic on it. Very cool. Also, a bit the sides. And there we go. It's uh, very nice. The cell forming is very nice. Nice and clear, round uh, color, in color no broken cells so yeah you can see this really works uh, not expensive my lazy go-to pouring medium perhaps you give it a try let me know if you like it you can find the dry painting on my facebook page come back leave a comment or a thumbs up and hope to see you soon